Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and we're currently flying through our universe, looking at various galaxies. Now, for the most part, I think most of us are used to seeing galaxies in the shape that you see them right here, kind of similar to Andromeda and our own Milky Way. But here's the thing, galaxies are very varied. There's actually so many different ones out there, and today we're going to talk about one of the most unusual ones discovered in August of 2016. Welcome to What The Math. Now we're going to be using Universe Sandbox Square to try to recreate this particular galaxy and to compare it to the galaxies that we're kind of more familiar with. Like for example, this right here is a somewhat inaccurate, but I guess a relatively uh, okay representation of the Milky Way with Sagittarius A star in the middle. The galaxy we're going to be talking about is known as Dragonfly 44, and it's actually uh, also known as the dark twin of our own galaxy because it has a very similar mass to our, our, the Milky Way, approximately 1 trillion suns in total, but here's the thing. About 99.9% .9 of that galaxy is made up entirely of dark matter. In other words, you really wouldn't be able to see it. It would kind of look something like this. And there you go. Maybe a little bit more. I keep kind of erasing these uh, Milky Way particles here, just so that you, it g gives you an idea of what this particular galaxy might actually look like. There's actually a picture of it on the screen right now. It is practically invisible, and the only way the scientists discovered that it was made up of um, like 99.9% .9 dark matter is because they measured the uh, velocity of stars orbiting around that galaxy and realized that those stars were moving a little bit too fast. So the mass of that galaxy has to be very similar to the Milky Way. Because as you may know, uh, dark matter is actually what's holding our galaxies uh, together. So here, let me just demonstrate this to you. Let's place the Andromeda galaxy right here in the middle. And you'll see that th those red spots that you uh, see on the screen are actually the dark matter. So if I were to accelerate time, you'll see that things start moving around. The galaxy kind of keeps for the most part together. And the dark matter is essentially glued it all into one. However, if I go under power here and I erase all of the dark matter, things will just start falling apart. As a matter of fact, everything just flies apart. So dark matter is essential, but we still have no idea what it's made out of. All of the four major experiments uh, of 2016 failed to discover the dark matter particles, so we don't really know what it is. We just know that it exists. So let's actually try to recreate Dragon 44 using Universe Sandbox, and we're going to do this from scra scratch by doing the following. We're going to place... Our first galaxy here, and it's going to have dark matter right there, but we're actually going to erase this part completely. We're going to just take this whole thing and erase it, just make it disappear, and then place another one right where uh, the first one was, and do it again. And we're going to do this a few times, basically adding a huge amount of dark matter and uh, erasing the huge amount of visible matter. Now, I think this is kind of enough, and what we're going to do now is uh, make uh, a lot of this visible matter just disappear by manually erasing it. And what I'm essentially trying to do here is just leave a trace of the visible matter. I'm basically manually erasing the extra visible matter, leaving just a tiny, tiny trace. So here, the uh, galaxy known as Dragon 44 has something like over a hundred times less stars in it than our own Milky Way. So this is exactly what I'm doing by essentially removing all of these highly visible stars and basically leaving behind just a tiny, tiny amount of them that will give this uh, galaxy a very, very dim appearance. All right, so let's see how this goes. This is definitely uh, still a little bit too much, but let's just uh, let this run and see if we can stabilize this galaxy, making it look somewhat realistic. And so here we go, matter and dark matter starts interacting, and for the most part, this galaxy is going to be kind of stuck all together because of the dark matter particles keeping it all in one place. 
And look at that, it's looking more and more realistic. Still a little bit too bright, but definitely not as bright as it used to be, possibly at least 20 times more dim. In reality though, this should be at least 100 times dimmer than uh, our own galaxy, the Milky Way. And just to give you a comparison, I'm going to place uh, another galaxy next to it, just so you can see what the actual galaxy looked like originally. But for now, let's just make it stabilize itself and uh, create the replica of Dragonfly 44 that I just renamed right there. It's the black hole in the middle of it. All right, so as it stabilizes itself, let's actually maybe talk a little bit more about why this is kind of an interesting finding and how this was also, also discovered. So the scientists who discovered uh, this particular galaxy uh, actually knew about this a long time ago, but they decided to measure uh, the motion of the stars for about 34 hours. They, they measured the motions of stars and realized that these stars were moving way too fast. And for these stars to actually maintain their orbit, uh, for them to move that fast, there's gotta be so much more matter than was actually visually observed. And when they realized that they didn't see any matter in the vicinity of this galaxy, they uh, kind of concluded that it must be the dark matter that's holding it all together. That's essentially how we also explain why in our galaxy stars move a little bit faster than they should as well. On top of that, discovering such a galaxy creates a bit of a question. How was this ever formed? How did such a galaxy come to exist? This obviously has no answer yet because we don't really know what dark matter is and obviously we don't really know enough about creation of galaxies to answer this question. But nevertheless, this is essentially a pretty cool representation of what Dragonfly 44 looks like. Now, let me just give you a comparison of what the real uh, Messier uh, 85 looked like before. And I'm going to place it just uh, next to it, I guess, right there. So. It's still maybe a little bit too bright, I guess, but uh, a lot dimmer than it was originally. And uh, so this is what it used to be like, and this is what it is now. Uh, so maybe I should have erased a few more of the actual stars to, for it to, uh, to be a little bit more realistic. Now let's actually just erase this for a second, because what I want to do next is I want to actually um, remove all of this dark matter, all sort of in one press of a button, and see what actually happens to Dragonfly 44 if it had no dark matter holding it together. And as you can imagine, it's not going to last very long. So let's look at the years here. We're going at, at about 3 million years per second. And suddenly all of the dark matter disappeared. And look what happens. The entire galaxy within a few million years flies apart and leaves the supermassive black hole all by itself. With maybe just a few stars around it. So essentially, without the uh, massive, massive amounts of dark matter that you saw, uh, there's absolutely no way this galaxy could actually hold itself together. And that's Dragonfly 44, the galaxy that we officially confirmed and, uh, I guess, rediscovered back in August of 2016. A pretty cool discovery and definitely puts a, a lot of new mystery and opens a lot of new questions for the idea of dark matter, what it is and what it is not. Maybe one day we'll discover, but definitely not yet and not today. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something about our galaxy, our universe and about Dragonfly 44 as well from this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with someone who enjoys learning through video games and someone who actually wants to learn cool things about space, sciences and other things as well. Now let's actually go ahead and place a few more galaxies just for fun and let's see how they interact together. With the most massive being M32 that we're going to place right here. And let's see what happens if we once again erase all of the dark matter and let them spin around without any dark matter left. Let's see if any of them actually survive. And anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Come back tomorrow to learn something new or possibly watch me play a video game that will hopefully teach you something interesting. I'll see you in the next video. Game you later. Space out. Bye bye. Looks like we've created some kind of a super massive mega galaxy. Surprising. And this is all without dark matter too. Very, very interesting.